What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at an eFootball 2025 edit mode wishlist. So if this mode comes, what I want to see in it, and let me know what you guys want to see as well. Let's go. All right, so let's just jump straight right into it here with eFootball 2024 currently. I think this is what will eventually morph into edit mode or a kit preview within Dream Team, right? Where you'll be able to go in and look at your kits, you'll be able to change your kits, maybe able to change your players as well. We're going to take that a step further as to what eFootball's edit mode could be like for eFootball 2025. Now, in order to do that, we're going to go back, right? And I know a lot of people that have been huge fans of the Pez franchise and the Pez series for years will say like, oh, we need old school edit mode. We need old school edit mode to come back big, right? I don't think that it will, honestly. I don't think that we're going to see this level of customization. It's nice to go back and look at it and obviously think that back in Pez 6, Pez 13, we're going to show you a couple of different clips to be inspired by what could become eFootball 2025's edit mode. I don't think we need to go into this much detail with an edit mode. I honestly think most people will be just happy with the basics, and I'll show you that in a second. But you have to remember, lads, if you guys didn't play this, you could edit boots, stadiums, players, everything was... There was literally so much customization. This is why I fell in love with Pez at the start. You could customize everything. You could make your own Sunday League team. You could play, you know, put in all the emblems. You could import stuff on a USB. And obviously that followed through all the way to Pez 2021. You know, from where we had that, right? You could create your kits. You could add everything. You could even import face scans and your own face into the game. Like, it was so ahead of the time. Even back in Pez 5, Pez 6, it was just ridiculous the amount of customization that you had, right? And you could just edit every part of your club. I don't think that they need to do that. I'd love if they did that in, in, in edit mode for eFootball 2025. But if you look here, right? I'd be happy enough with just the basics, man. Like, literally the basics. You have this new kit preview that Konami added back in February, uh, where they brought in this kit preview to be able to show the new kits that you could buy with coins. I mean, why not just throw this out a little bit and just have an option here that we're going to do up a little bit of a graphic here. Super simple stuff that doesn't need to be massively, you know, developed. Like, it just needs to be basic. An import kit feature that has already got the legacy, you know, infrastructure there from PES 2021, where you literally just import the kit out of, off a of USB, or you'd be able to import it through its own in-game menu, or else its own kit creator. We'll get to that in a second, and be able to change certain things like player hair, hairstyle while keeping the player face. So, for example, if Neymar, you know, grew an afro, or he got dreads, you could, instead of having to wait for Konami to do the data update, you could literally just go into player hairstyle, keep the player's face scan there, so Neymar's face wouldn't default, right? Keep the, the hairstyle there, and just change it anything you wanted. Keep his face, but change the hairstyle. I think that would be pretty cool. Now, in order to look at this, right, we are going to take a look at EAFC. Shout out to Kara for these clips on EAFC, because I haven't really played much of EAFC this year. But also, UFL are going for this similar kind of look and layout. You have the player to the side, you have all your accessories, you have your tattoos, your animations, you can edit the player, you can create the player. We'll show you the face editing in a second, we'll get to that in a minute. But I definitely think that this is the sort of stuff that they need to be doing. You don't need to go into too much detail with it. Obviously, this is when you're creating your own... Um, your player or your my player or whatever it is uh, for your pro clubs journey or whatever, right? And you, you can pick all these and you can lock all things like this. If Konami don't bring this, they, like uh, actual mode where it's pro clubs, they could just bring an actual, like where you edit your player like this, a dedicated edit player where you could pick different animations and goal celebrations for any of your players. I mean, they're meant to be your players. They're, it's your, you know, dream team. Also, with PES 2020, you meet people that don't know how to import kits, we're going to show you how simple it was to import kits in PES 2020 and PES 2021. Literally on a USB, pop in the kit, and then there you have it. And then that's the new updated kit in PES 2020, and you could do the fonts, you could do the different letterings, you could do whatever. This menu here looks very similar to that layout with eFootball uh, compared to PES 2021. But I definitely think like that this needs to be expanded upon. This is useless. I mean, these are just strips that you have in game. I get it. They want to sell the kits. They want to have the coins for the kits. I'm okay with that. But they should also give us the opportunity to even be able to import kits, basic kits, or be able to create basic kits within the game, like change stripes and put on sp sponsors and stuff from set presets and then be able to create your own presets. Also, when I did mention about having different hairstyles and stuff, in the older Pez games, right, you could actually have the same player face and the same player face, like, say, of Rooney, but you could change and alter everything about the card and everything about the player. Long shorts, shorts, shorts. You could put Edgar David's glasses on him. 
This followed through to the edit mode in PES 2013 as well. So what we're asking for is not something that Konami have never done before. Now this is kind of like a Frankenstein, right? We tried to import our face into Rooney's face here, but it was obviously at the wrong angle um, and stuff like that. But you could do it. I mean, you can see Mourinho's there is going to be perfect because it goes in direct and you could create any player that you want. Now this is going to look a bit, frunk, a bit funky uh, and a bit freaky, but also again, you're retaining the player face. A little feature like this. I mean, as I said before, if a player updates his hairstyle a lot, like Griezmann or Neymar or somebody like that, you know, or even just being able to, like, what would be class, I think, if they ever brought a Master League, was you could just have different hairstyles, you know, for different times of the year and stuff. Just simple things like that. Now, also, if you're creating a player in this, obviously, if they are ever bringing a create uh, a player option where you're creating a pro or you're creating your own player, or, of course, you're creating or editing players that do not have a scanned face in the game, they need to open up this and have so many details and so many options in this. EA, Topspin, uh, you know, NBA 2K, they have got a really in-depth player face creator. Um, and I definitely think that Konami could go this route. They have it in their baseball game as well, which is phenomenal um, from, what I'm, from what I'm seeing. So I definitely think this is an option if you wanted to have different hairstyles and stuff like that. But I just think the biggest thing with Dream Team boys at the moment is even if they're not going to open it up directly and just be able to like import willy-nilly and do crazy stuff like putting your face on the stadium and all that as you see in PES 2013, they could have very basic stuff in the game. That like, as I said, a, a, a very basic kick creator that you could change the numbers, you could change the sock design, you could change the, you know, how short, long sleeve, all of that stuff from within a dedicated menu like we're seeing here with the kit preview. So, let me know what you think. Obviously, it's just kind of a food for thought. I definitely think that there's a lot of ideas here. We don't need to go back to the crazy days of the penguin suits or anything like that. We don't even need to open it up that you'd be able to put in face scans and all that because if they're, you know, operating on the licenses and stuff. And obviously, when PES 6 and them came out, it was an offline game that was, you know, designed to be played by you, you know, in your own experience and create your own experience. Now it's all online. And I get that with Dream Team, especially with the kits and stuff. But I mean, do you agree? Do we need a kid import feature or some sort of in-game kit creator? And also, I'll do a follow-up part to this from a community standpoint. What would you guys like to see in eFootball 2025's edit mode if they bring the mode out? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe. Talk to you in a bit.